quest for adventure dedicated to people who love the outdoors. Brought to you by the new Ford Expedition, the only way to get there. Bass Pro Shops Catalog. Tracker Marine. Fish the finest. Cliff, why is this an advantage when all the wind's blowing like this to try and get up on that hog? Well, I, I guess it can be a disadvantage too, but for me, especially with a big hog like this, I'm going to want to be very close before I take a shot. I want to make sure that I can get very close, and this wind masks the sound. Uh, also, when there's this many things moving, and he doesn't notice you moving as much. I want to get close to this hog. This is a major animal. I, I don't want to make a bad shot, and I know you don't want to either. Yeah. So I think we should get as close as we possibly can. Tell me a little bit about this hog we're going after. I know he's been a menace around here. You're not going to believe this, but I've known this hog for about two years. And this is his area and has been for about two years. And I've had opportunities to shoot at him before, but I've never just had the perfect shot. And I think this is a pretty dangerous animal. I think this animal is the animal that killed some of those sows that I was telling you about. Right. I don't know why, but I, I think so. And uh, he is a trophy. He's what, got- What's he look like? You'll know him the minute you see him. He's sort of a spotted or mottled colored hog. Uh -huh. uh, really a beautiful and unusual looking hog, but he's very tall. But the main characteristic that you're going to know right away, yeah. big, huge teeth sticking out. Is that out. right? Yeah. Well, I, I remember when I was a kid down in Texas, I fell off a horse and they were hog hunting and that hog came after me. I mean, he wanted to kill me and I just got behind a tree and I, they they told me at the time they can just rip you open. Oh, they can and they will. Yeah. In the right circumstances, a wild hog can be extremely dangerous. For the most part, uh, even when you're hunting them on the ground, like we are at very close range, right. if you do everything right, they never know you're there until it's way too late. But if they ever discover you and, and you get inside their zone, yeah. Uh, and particularly if they're with a sow, yeah. extremely aggressive. And of course, if you wound one, they'll chase. I mean, they will chase you, and they will do you harm. Well, what I'm going to do is stay behind you. <laughs> I was going to stay behind <laughs> you. <laughs> no, uh, what I've got here is this little cam recorder here, and I can follow you, and we can record the whole thing. I'll back you up with my bow. If you get a shot, I'll back you up. But mainly what I want to do is document this whole, this whole pursuit. Now you know this area all through here. I know you've lived around here for quite a while. And so what's the plan? Where, where are we headed? Where do you think we'll have the best chance? There's an area over here where this hog stays almost all of the time. Yeah. Especially at this time of day. Right. At night they roam all over the place. Right. But he'll be, he will be, right over here in these palmettos on the edges of that tall brooms grass and everything, and we'll find him over there, I'm sure. So we're sure. going to use the wind to our advantage. We're going to move off this way into the wind and, and hold in the wind, and if we don't find him with our first pass into the wind, we'll come back out so that we don't run a risk of spooking him, and then we'll move over maybe 100 yards okay. and make another sweep through there. Okay. We'll find him, I know. We're getting back into the area where I expect to find this hog. Okay. So as we move back through these palmettas, we'll just move very slowly, very okay. quietly, and the main thing is to just be watchful because there's no telling where he could be. Okay. I'm virtually positive he's in the area, but the trick is for us to see him before he sees us. Okay. Look at all this rooting. 
They've rooted this whole area up here. This is all new since I was here last. Hog is moving to the right through yeah, there. Yeah, okay. That's a big hog. I don't know what it is, but if we cut down this way, we can get ahead of him. Right now, he's behind those fans, but he's moving to the right. There he goes, right okay, there. Okay, I see him. Okay. Go. Go. Just let that hog go. He's moving that way, and that's the direction that those other ones went. I think we should go that way. this big banana spider here. Be careful, Glenn. Just eat bananas. This swamp's got us cut off, man. Okay. We gotta go all the way around, make a big circle back up this way, and then come around and try to get okay. upwind of them. We're never going to do it this way. Right. Just go straight back this way. We got to go hard. Okay. You lead the way. You lead the way. You got to go a little faster. Yeah. Perfect. They're going to follow the edge of this water and come right up here to us. If they keep feeding the way they were feeding, they'll come right up this edge here. So yeah. what we should do is maybe tuck right back in here. Okay. And I, I know that they got to come this way. All right. All right. I'm like this. They, they've got to come right by here. Just be ready and back me up. Let's see, pause, record. Got it running? Yeah. All right, I'm going to ease right up to this next tree here. Okay. Let me get my...
I hear it. I hear it. Oh, gee, hey, get up. Watch, watch it. Here comes. Clear, you see. Get clear, Glenn. Get clear. Get clear. Oh, 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 oh. Just get clear. Get Move clear. out of here, man. Get clear. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. What oh, was that? You didn't see that black hog, did you? A big, uh, oh, he looked like he weighed 600 pounds. <laughs> Look like you weighed a thousand pounds. Glenn, that was not the that was not the one that we were looking for. Oh. Man, did you see that brown and black one that I saw across? the second one? Two tone one? Yeah, the first one I was just well, leaving. He he was coming right at us and then he turned and I thought everything was okay and I just looked right at my feet here and I mean that there's a black <laughs> hog that looked ten thousand pounds. And that's not the neither one of those hey, were the me, just stay here, I'm gonna get my camera. <laughs> Oh, that'll get your heart going, won't it? <laughs> oh, I wonder, man. I guess that thing's okay. It's still running. I may have some shots on that thing. What happened? You threw it huh? down? Yeah. It's got some dirt all over it. I may have some shots on that thing of that black hog, but I mean, he came in just about ate me up. I've never seen you move so fast in Holy your life. Holy mackerel, I'm not kidding you. That thing was within inches of me. I mean, just <laughs> right on top of me. Well, I oh. think this area is probably spooked right here. Yeah. You got a, you got another stalk left oh. in you? <laughs> Man, wow. I'm oh. telling you, that was something. The hogs had won the last round but we were still in the game. And the big boar hog that we were after was still unaware of our presence. And Glenn and I meant to keep it that way until the very last moment. Oh, Glenn, look at this. You can tell it's fresh, because see the mud, yeah. all the muddy water? Yeah. They've been in here. I'd say they're probably working back the edge of this slough and then they'll come up on a little high rise and probably spend the day back up there where there might be acres or palmetto or cabbage palm berries that right. fall off these right. palm trees. So does it take a big hog to do this or does little well, hog? Well, and you know what, it's hard to tell unless you can actually see a track. Yeah. But a, a determined small hog could do this very same thing. Okay. So we're going through the water now. Huh? Yeah, we gotta just go through this little swamp edge here and we'll come out on a ridge back there. All right. This wind could not be better. This is just what we want. Okay. And see how we're coming up onto this high ground here? Right. He's here. Let me tell you something. I'm a little gun shy right now about that. That hog almost got me. I, I know. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> After that surprise attack, I had a weird feeling that there were hogs behind every bush. And I wanted to make sure that I see the next hog before he sees me. These hogs have existed in the woods of Florida since the original Spanish explorers brought them here centuries ago. They've evolved and multiplied right along with modern man and have become a part of life's web. They've become a prime food source for longtime residents that man has displaced. The bobcat, the black bear, and Florida's panther. But these are my woods too. And I spend as much time here as I'm able. And as much as the hunting, I enjoy sharing this place with special friends like Glenn. We get through this water. Yeah. See how it dries out yeah. up here on this ridge? If we're going to get a shot at this pond, this is probably where he's going to be. So okay. we want to be very, very slow and deliberate and careful Listen, right now. Let me say one thing to you. If I see that hog coming, I'm going to drop everything and leave. So. <laughs> 
You do the same, okay? <laughs> huh? you, you better not. You better back me uh, up. I'll, I'll let you know. You'll hear me yelling as I run away. Glenn talks about running away. But the one thing I'm sure of is that in a pinch, when I look around behind me, Glenn will always be there. What's he doing? That's, 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 the, that big one. that's the hog. That's the hog. Man, watch yourself. What's he doing? Rooting? Yeah, he's just root tearing up the... Moving around quite a bit. Oh, hey, watch, watch. I think he sees it. No, he's got his head down. looking hog. Right there, he's facing me. He's facing me. Watch it, Luke. Man, that hard. I got no shot. We didn't have to go around and get the other side. Watch it, watch it. Oh, he, he went behind that tree. I've been here before. I know this dance real well. I've seen, heard, and even felt long teeth like this on other occasions. He's head on to me. I can't do anything with him. I just can't. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. We gotta go to the right. We gotta go to the right. Did you see? Oh man, yeah. He got into that real thick stuff over there. I know he did. Oh boy. He just what was pointing at you or you couldn't get a shot or what? I was the perfect distance. Yeah. Everything I even had clear no no obstructions. Yeah. He was facing right at me and I was not gonna take that shot. Yeah. Well, for two reasons. It just wasn't an ethical shot, and number one. <laughs> and number two, I didn't want to get him mad at me. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? He lives here. Yeah. He lives here. And we frightened him away, but we didn't run him off. And tomorrow's another day. Yeah. Quest for Adventure has been brought to you by Ford F-Series. The best-selling trucks are built Ford Tough. Bass Pro Shops Catalog. Columbia Sportswear Company. Tracker Marine. Fish the finest. Panasonic. Just slightly ahead of our time.
For additional information, contact our website at www.questforadventure.com.